Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Adam Lacerna Cooking, and today on this cold rainy day in June, um, I thought I would make something warm, hot, delicious, spicy, and when you think of spicy, you think of peppers, red peppers, chili peppers, and there's so many different countries that are cooking their food with peppers and spices made of peppers. One of those countries is India. And today I am cooking chicken tikka masala. And I'm using a roasted chicken with all the bones. As many of you know, I always cook my chicken with the bones in for added flavor. And it just tastes more delicious to me. Um, I have fresh chopped tomatoes from my garden. I have added garlic, chopped garlic, a chicken stock that uh, is being used with the chicken and the already seasoned chicken. The tiki masala is just incredible. Uh, again, this is a form of Indian food spices. And in tiki masala, it's a combination of dried herbs and spices. Its main ingredient, I feel, is the coriander and the, the paprika, turmeric, also, ginger, of course, red chili, cloves, celery, nutmeg, fennel, uh, and some salt. Um, I hardly taste the salt in the, the spice mixture. So when you cook, and when most people cook, especially experienced chefs, in restaurants, uh, they will cook to their taste uh, as far as adding salt, less, more, whatever they feel is necessary in that particular dish. Uh, in the pot over here, I have the rice simmering, and this is a long grain rice that I like to use, and I've added some garlic and paprika and spices and that rice there. When that's all cooked and done and everything is serviced together on a plate, um, I will make a dressing out of this ranch Greek dr yogurt dressing and I'll add the coconut milk. Uh, I buy my coconut milk in bulk because I use this in many different dishes throughout the day, whether it be breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, I just love uh, an organic um, coconut milk. This is made with coconut cream. So it's just my favorite. You might have your own. Uh, you might prefer the canned coconut, which is fine also. Uh, I find those to be very delicious and creamy. And, and very organic. Um, as far as Indian food, it seems to be the food of choice for fine diners, for casual diners, experienced restaurateurs, people that eat out a lot and want delicious food. In particular, uh, throughout the United States as well as England, there's a good estimate that 75% of restaurant goers are going to the Indian restaurants. And this is some information um, I'm just using as a guesstimate or an estimate uh, from the knowledge that I find um, present day as well as over the last 30 years that I've been going out and eating and traveling around the world eating, 
uh, when I was in the military. And throughout uh, history, spices have been traded, in particular uh, between Europe uh, and the Middle East, Asia. And those spices seem to have been assimilated throughout the world over time. And in England, there are hundreds, hundreds, maybe over a thousand, maybe several thousand Indian restaurants in England. And a lot of it has to do with the spice trade uh, of the early 1500s and those spices being assimilated throughout the world as well as those cooks. Someone had to cook with those spices and it just happened to be the Indian cooks. At the time, England was discovering Indian food and occupying India. Let's face it. <laughs> You're going to occupy a country that has some of the greatest abundance of spices in the world and some of the only spices available in that particular country. And those cooks that cook that amazing food, uh, you're going to enjoy that food. You're going to eat that food on a regular basis. And that's what England does today. Again, I'm estimating that 75% of food goers People that love spicy food are eating Indian food uh, throughout Great Britain. One of my favorite Indian chefs over the years, uh, since I've been learning how to cook and studying food, was Madder Jaffrey. And she is a Indian chef, actress, author, uh, the Matter Jaffrey Indian Cookbook. That was my first Indian cookbook. Um, learning about spices on a very technical level was the Matter Jaffrey Indian Food Cookbook. Uh, she's now 88 years old, still going strong, still teaching cooking, and uh, she may even be acting if someone can. Look that up. Um, she's been in movies. She's cooked for kings and queens throughout the world. So that's where I discovered my Indian cuisine uh, cooking lessons was the Matter Jaffrey cookbook. I was introduced to that book, cookbook in my early 20s, my mid-20s, uh, by my good friend Jolene Naranjo who is an excellent home chef. Uh, together we've made many foods and recipes together over the years, sometimes without a recipe. When you get two people that are passionate about cooking, passionate about technical spices and making great food, recipes go out the window and now your experience comes in hand and now you're using all the great herbs and spices of the world. Again, here's the tiki masala spices by Kerala and the aromatics, the spiciness, the hot, the combination of spices are for many types of meats, primarily chicken in India. Uh, there's an abundance of goat. And, of course, in America, the Indian food is used um, cooking with lamb. So if you haven't experienced Indian cuisine, Indian cooking, I'm sure you've driven by many Indian restaurants over your years as an adult. Stop. Explore Indian cooking. Uh, I'm sure you'll find it worth 
your while. Again, this is Adam Lacerna. Thanking you. Thank you, my subscribers, for returning to my cooking channel. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the bell, like, and subscribe. And part two, I'll show you the finished product of chicken tiki masala and rice with a coconut dressing. Thank you.